Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is me, Lemon Slice, and I know this type of video will not apply to everybody, but if you clicked on the video, then I'm sure you are interested in how to use World Edit in Minecraft. So assuming you already have World Edit, which it is very simple to download, guys, and if you are running Fabric or any of those things, there's um, versions for that. So once you have World Edit, if, if you don't know how to get it, just do some Google searching. But once you have it, I'm gonna be giving you a little tutorial today of the basics of what I use. It's really, I know I've done one of these videos before, but this is the simplistic version. If you just want to use World Edit to speed up your building, then that's what this is for. Because like I said, doing this all the way around your entire build and going around this way and then having to go up another one and place every single individual block is way too much of a pain. And then if you have to break it, going through and breaking each individual block, this is such a pain. So what I use World Edit for mainly in my building is just to speed things up, guys. That's the biggest benefit from World Edit as a builder. Now, if you're doing huge, large scale, pro scale projects, it's even more beneficial. But today we are going over the simple things, the thing I things I use every single day that I build, every build that you've seen me done, I use World Edit in one way or another. So guys, I'm gonna show you those tricks today and that way you can use World Edit exactly the way I do and get you just a little bit better at building and a little bit more efficient. Okay guys, so the first command we are gonna go over is one to help with this that I just talked about. So if you wanna have a straight wall, you literally can just grab one corner and you do that by left clicking, build up as high as you want the wall to be and then right click that corner and slash slash wall walls right there and then whatever it is that you want to fill it with so for me this is stripped birch wood and we're going to place that in there boom perfect and we have a wall now you could have just done set slash set and then set birch logs or whatever but if you do that then you won't be able to do things like this so let me show you real quick you can also do this and then slash slash cut to get rid of it so this is the benefit of using the walls command. Say that's your first corner and then you want to go to here and then that's your second corner, but then you want to have four walls. Okay. Well then where do you want to go here? We're going to go here to our back corner and connect it up with this one right here and say, that's what we want our back wall to be. Well, if we take these two corners in this rectangle, Oh, let me right. Oh, I have to do this and then right click it. All right. And then once you have those two corners in this rectangle, then you can use the walls command again and it keeps it hollow okay so that's the benefit of using this versus set and the next command guys is going to be the slash slash stack command right down here so how we're going to use this is this is the main way that i use this command so again guys this video is what i use these commands for i'm sure there's other ways you can use it there's a lot more commands in the in this uh, mod that you can use but today i'm showing you what i do on a daily basis when i go to a build this is a huge thing when i'm building a roof i don't want to have to keep placing all the way across every single one of these right and i could go in and do select this one and then select the one on the other end and then just fill it right but then that would take so long so this is a workaround so first we select this and then we select we want to select the top all the way across to here so i'm just going to make sure i get this correct Yep, it's a little above, but that's fine. So that'll be our second one. And then we can just count across. Let's see how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we want to hang off the edge. So 10. So we're going to face the direction we want it to go. Slash, slash, stack, 10. And there it goes. Boom. And we have the roof on there. See how easy that was? And think about how quick that was versus how long it would have taken to place every single one of these. Now, if you want to have a gradient in the roof, that makes things a little bit more complicated. But in that case, you can use the slash slash replace command, right? So what we use this for is if we want to take this, this is our mud. We will grab that and we'll grab it, say, to here. And we'll do what's a good one to do instead let's go cobble deep sleep so slash slash replace mud and then you hit space and then you go with the other block you want to do cobble deep slate and you hit enter boom there it is cobble deep slate and then for the gradient we can just go in here and mix things up a little bit that's how you can make a gradient super super easily guys that is a really good hack i think i want to just do one of those too it makes it a little bit better there we go so that's how you make a gradient really easily using world edit that's how you stack right there and let's move on to the next tip. 
So let's say you have your little wall here and you put in a door, you put in some windows, maybe you put some stuff up on the roof right here. Say we put a little window in right here and you wanted to get this over onto the other side. Well, let, me, let me get this little miniature window thing put in right here just to make it a, look a little bit better. Okay, so back to what I was saying. What we can do is say you didn't even do this side of the roof. There's no decorations on this back side of the wall. What we can do is we can grab up here and then we can go all the way down. Make sure we come all the way out to here. Make sure we have all of this selected. We'll come down to the bottom here and we'll select this bottom part here. And then what we have to do is we have to find the middle point. So this is the middle point right here. And we're going to stand on the middle point and face it. And we're going to hit copy. Okay, slash slash copy. What we just did is we copied what we selected. Now we're going to do slash slash flip. And we want to flip it to our right because that's where we want to put it. It's going to flip it to the right and then we're gonna do slash slash paste boom slap it in so we copy it we flip it and we paste it there it is pasted in perfectly on both sides now this can be done with another variation also so let's go right here let's get a tower going right here say so to this and you want to have that on all four sides well you can with the world edit mod here we go so we're going to select one right there we're going to come down here and we're going to select our second one this counts as a full block so i'll just select that right there we're going to stand in our middlemost block i'll bring it up one just to make sure i'm on it slash slash copy all right we'll hit that rotate now you can rotate it 90 degrees you can rotate it 180 degrees but for us we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and paste it paste boom there it is in front of us we're going to stay facing the same direction Go back, rotate 90, paste it again. Rotate 90, paste it again. Boom, and there it is. We have it on all four sides. Beautiful, nice and easy. Didn't have to do the design multiple times. You got it up there, and this is becoming quite the interesting little house on the mountain, huh? Wow, that is extravagant. Okay, so I know you guys always make fun of me for saying how I make things look easy or I'm just gonna pop things in. I'm gonna explain how to do it, but then things just appear. Well, that's what we're doing here. Today, we're not focusing on the building, so it, it can slide, but I had to make it look a little prettier. I had to put a little roof on it, a little extra tower, but I'm still I'm still gonna demonstrate the world edit. So say you want this tower somewhere else. I'm gonna show you the classic copy and paste mechanic, okay? So we're gonna take this tower right here. We're gonna come down to the bottom of it. Let's see, it comes all the way out to here. Nope, it comes one farther out. There we go. So we'll grab the bottom of it and then we'll come up to the top. It comes out this wide and that tall. So we'll grab the top of it there. Now we just have to pick a point. So let's say right here, we want to be able to fly in and be facing this top block right here. So let's just copy it from right there. Okay. And now where do we want to have it? Well, maybe we'll have a wall jutting out here and say we want to have it coming out and eh, right there, we'll fly into it and we will do the paste command boom just like that and i'll just shift this down one like that and there we go we got two towers right there now what i'm gonna do is because they look too similar i am going to replace the mud okay so let's grab this area um maybe we'll do the cobbled deep slate so we actually have that command in here somewhere if we just hit if you hit slash and then hit the up arrow you can go back to your previous commands if you didn't know that so there it is we'll grab that and we'll select it perfectly just like that. I love that. That's beautiful. All right. And then let's put a, yeah, we should probably put a little bit of a roof on right here. So putting all those things together, we are going to add on a little extra building slash tower over here to the side. And I'm going to show you guys just how it works when I'm using all of these things together. So I want this tower to jut out a little bit. So it'll jut out to here and then we want it to be odd numbers. So we'll have it come across. That's four. Let's have it come across five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have it come back five also. So I want it to come up pretty tall. Let's go all the way up. Let's go up to, well, that's running into this a little too much. So let's actually shift it over one block. So we'll select that as our second spot. We'll set that or we'll make it walls of stripped birch wood. Don't mind if you hear the blower outside. There's just some people uh, out there with the blower. That, that would make sense, right? And now let's go here and we're just gonna put in some details afterwards, but Oh, and there's my rabbit again. Of course, the blower is upsetting the rabbit. <laughs> Don't mind that. Just like that. And that's pretty cool. Now we'll come in, we'll grab some glass, some black glass panes. You guys know that is my favorite tool to use. And we're just going to go here, four, maybe two right there, and then one at the bottom. Boom, that's perfect. 
So we got that. And then right here, maybe we'll add a little something, another little window here. If we go like this, maybe something like this. We did this with the other parts of the building. So it'll look good here. Also, something like that. That looks pretty cool. I like that. And let's put our windows in and then a trap door at the bottom. Maybe the same thing here. We could go with just a stair on either side and the trap door right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. And let's go ahead and put some lanterns in, something that I usually forget to put in the build when I, it could use it. Boom, some lanterns right there. And then maybe even a lantern on, you know, the sides right there. Now, we got that built in right there, guys. Now, what are we going to do with it? Because now we need to put it around the build. So let's grab it over here is where we have this start. So we'll grab that. We'll come up to the top here that side and like i said before guys i'll use the rotation command so we'll do slash copy rotate 90 and paste now let me make sure it's over there because i don't want it to come on this side and interfere with the house so we'll rotate it again and paste it again boom and then we'll keep it uh we'll keep it not on that side so that does mean unfortunately we are going to have to manually place in some of this oh what a pain this is such a pain when i have to manually go ahead and and put blocks on the build it's it's a little bit of a pain and a little unnecessary if you ask me i'm not sure why you would have to do that in this game but here we go let's go in i think it's like that maybe so for the roof i kind of want to do a little bit of a form of a smaller tower right here so we're just going to bring the mud block back up here and try and incorporate it up here a little bit just to bring things together and then we're also going to grab a gate a spruce gate that'll go right here boom on all sides boom let's see how that looks let's make sure that looks good good height nice i like that that's beautiful and then let's go back and grab our lantern that we might want um and then we'll put a wall here with a lantern on it i think that looks pretty cool and then we'll finish it off guys with some of this right here and then we'll come up real tall with that boom that's beautiful i love it now to make this look a little better we want to put something here but it doesn't need to cover the entire block so this is a little bit of a trick here grab a sign grab a spruce sign right here just put it on there and hit escape just like this there you go and that actually adds like it incorporates it brings the spruce from the stairs right there up onto there and kind of merges these two together without totally giving up all of the uh, amethyst right there so beautiful beautiful little build right there now the last thing i want to do is i kind of want to put another one of these towers off this side actually so i'm going to grab this tower down here come right here copy and now this one we actually do want to flip so slash slash flip left so that we have it going that way and then we'll come over here and maybe we want it to go right there Does that seem right yeah that looks right to me i'll actually have it come forward a block and then paste boom there it is baby we just got to get rid of the roof that came with it a little bit and there we go guys look at that beautiful little build right there i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this was helpful for your let me zoom it in a little bit here guys boom right there hope this was helpful for your building and see how quickly i was able to get that little build done because of the world edit now if i wasn't talking and explaining and showing things and i wasn't kind of a little lost with what i was going to do with the build i could have just thrown this together really fast think about how fast this could be done guys so hopefully this helps you hopefully this adds to your ability to create builds and have fun and not be um constricted with your time so i hope you enjoyed this guys this little guide to how i use world edit in minecraft for my builds and i hope it helps so i'll see you guys next time it's been lemon slice Peace out.